guys! What's up? Alpha Lion Simba here, and welcome to another episode of Superstars of South Africa. In the last episode, I talked about the white rhino, but South Africa is actually home to both of Africa's species of rhino, the other being the black rhino, or Dicerus bicornis. So again, watch out for those horns! Black rhinos once lived throughout sub-Saharan Africa, but they are currently confined to small pockets of eastern and southern Africa, and in South Africa, they are confined to national parks and game preserves, such as Kruger National Park and the Umfalozi Game Preserve. Like the white rhinoceros, the black rhinoceros has two horns on its nose, with the front horn being bigger than the other one. Like the white rhino, the black rhino doesn't get its name from the color of its hide, as it's usually a slate gray in color, but by the shape of its mouth. Uh, more on that later. A fully grown black rhino stands 4.3 to 5.9 feet tall at the shoulder. They are 9.2 to 12 feet long, and they usually weigh 1,800 to 3,100 pounds. As with most rhinos, black rhinos live alone, except for mothers with calves, and unlike white rhinos, which are more docile and mild-tempered, Black rhinos can be very aggressive and charge more readily at a threat. And rhinos can charge at speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. And, as everyone knows, black rhinos have very poor eyesight. At a distance of only 15 feet, they don't seem to be able to tell a man from a tree. But... Its poor eyesight is more than made up for by great senses of hearing and smell. Being solitary animals, black rhinos are very territorial. They have home ranges that measure from 1 to 17 square miles. And boundaries are frequently established through scent marking. And of course, the rhinos spend the hottest part of the day wallowing in mud. It acts as their sunscreen, protects them from biting flies, and helps them to cool off. And, like with white rhinos, black rhinos are commonly seen with tick birds riding around on their backs. The birds eat the ticks and other parasites that dwell on the rhino's skin. It's a form of symbiosis because the rhino gets cleaned and the tick bird gets itself a free lunch. Unlike white rhinos, which are grazers, black rhinos are browsers. In the wild, they eat leaves, twigs, bushes, and tall grass. Again, their diet is shaped by the shape of their mouths. Black rhinos have hook-shaped upper lips, which helps to push the leaves into their mouths. And they consume up to 120 pounds of vegetation a day. They drink water wherever and whenever they can, but they can survive for up to five days without water. Again, as is the case with all other rhinos, female black rhinos have only one calf at a time born after a gestation period of 15 months. The single calf weighs about 35 to 50 kilograms, or 80 to 110 pounds at birth. Weaning occurs at around two years of age. The mother and calf stay together for two to three years until the next calf is born. The life expectancy of a black rhinoceros is usually around 35 to 50 years. The black rhino is critically endangered. Like the white rhino, it suffers heavily from poaching. Every year, rhinos are slaughtered in the thousands by poachers who poach them for their horns, 
which are believed to have medicinal properties. In fact, now, rhino horn is more valuable than gold on the black market. There are currently between 5,366 and 5,627 black rhinos left in the wild. Well, that was it. My Superstars of South Africa episode on the black rhino. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Alpha Lion Simba, out.